Hey friends, it's me, Just Dollar Funnock. I'm so glad you're here. Check out my special adventuring hat and suspenders. Today, we're going on a super exciting adventure to explore things that fly way up high. We'll discover amazing vehicles that zoom above the clouds and float on the wind. So put on your thinking caps and get your adventuring eyes ready. Are you ready to come with me? Awesome, let's get started on our amazing sky adventure. Wow, look over there. What's that coming into view? Is it a bird? Is it a superhero? It's our first flying vehicle, an airplane. Airplanes are one of the most amazing inventions ever created. They allow us to travel across vast distances in a relatively short amount of time. It's like a giant metal bird with big, strong wings and a tail to help it steer. These wings are carefully designed to catch the air and lift the plane up, up, and away. Airplanes travel super fast much faster than cars or trains, and they take people all around the world to visit new places, see family, or conduct important business. Imagine soaring through the sky at hundreds of miles per hour. The wings help the airplane lift into the air, creating what we call lift. The shape of the wing forces air to move faster over the top than underneath, and this difference in speed creates the upward force, and the engines make a loud vroom to push it forward with incredible power. These engines are like giant fans that suck in air, mix it with fuel, and then blast it out the back to create thrust. Can you make a vroom sound with me just like the airplane engines? Ready? Vroom! Louder! Vroom! That's the sound of adventure. Inside, there are rows and rows of comfortable seats for passengers to relax and enjoy the flight. Some planes even have entertainment systems to watch movies or play games. And a cockpit at the front for the pilot who is in charge of flying the plane. The cockpit is filled with all sorts of important instruments and controls. The pilot uses a steering wheel, also known as a control column or yoke, and lots of buttons, switches, and levers to fly the plane safely and smoothly. It takes a lot of training to become a pilot. Airplanes have small windows so you can see the world from way up high. Everything looks tiny, like a miniature toy set. You can see houses, cars, and even people looking like little ants. This airplane is white with a blue stripe, but planes come in all sorts of colors and designs, from bright red to sleek silver. Some even have cool logos and artwork on them. The wheels underneath are called landing gear. They help the plane take off smoothly and land safely on the runway. They're like the plane's shoes. There are big passenger jets that can carry hundreds of people, small planes that are perfect for short trips, and even cargo planes that carry packages and important goods all over the world. These planes are like flying delivery trucks. Flying in an airplane means going above the clouds, where it's peaceful, quiet, and beautiful. It's like floating in a fluffy white dream. The body of the plane is called the fuselage. Can you say that? Fuselage, it's a long word, but it's fun to say. Imagine being a pilot, flying all over the world and seeing sunrises from above the clouds. What an amazing job that would be. You could explore new countries and meet interesting people. Before flying, highly skilled mechanics check everything, from the engines to the wings, to make sure it's safe and ready for takeoff. They are the unsung heroes of air travel. Airplanes help us travel far and fast. Before planes, trips took weeks or even months by boat or train. Now you can fly across the country in just a few hours. Next time you see an airplane soaring through the sky, wave and remember all its amazing parts and how it helps us connect with the world. Airplanes are incredible flying machines. Ready to see what else flies in the sky and learn about even more amazing vehicles? Let's go! Listen closely. Do you hear that distinctive sound in the air? It's a helicopter. A marvel of engineering that can take to the skies in a unique way. Unlike airplanes that need a runway, helicopters can lift straight up. Helicopters have big spinning blades on top called rotor blades. They lift the helicopter straight up, creating a powerful force that defies gravity. These blades are carefully designed to generate lift as they spin, allowing the helicopter to rise vertically. The small blade on the tail, the tail rotor, helps steer and keeps the helicopter steady, preventing it from spinning out of control. It's a crucial component that balances the torque created by the main rotor, this one is bright red. Helicopters are often painted in bright colors for rescue missions, making them easily visible from the ground and in the air. 
This is especially important when time is of the essence. Inside, the pilot uses sticks and pedals to control the helicopter. One stick, called the collective, makes it go up and down, adjusting the pitch of the main rotor blades. Another, the cyclic stick, tilts it to move in any direction, allowing for precise control and maneuverability. The pedals control the tail rotor, allowing the pilot to turn the helicopter. Helicopters can hover in one spot, which is super useful for rescues or filming from above. Imagine being able to stay perfectly still in the air. They can take off and land in small spaces, like rooftops or mountaintops, making them incredibly versatile in areas where traditional airplanes can't operate. Instead of wheels, helicopters have skids to land on all sorts of surfaces, from grassy fields to rocky terrain. These skids provide a stable base for landing and takeoff. Let's make the helicopter sound together. Wump, wump, wump. Can you imitate the sound of the blades cutting through the air? Helicopters can't fly as fast or as high as airplanes, but they can go places planes can't, navigating through narrow canyons and landing in remote areas. Some lift heavy things for construction, carrying materials to build skyscrapers or transport equipment to remote construction sites. Others help police monitor traffic or pursue suspects or fly people to hospitals quickly, providing critical medical care in emergency situations. The main rotor, tail rotor, body, and skids all work together in perfect harmony to make helicopters special and capable of performing amazing feats. Imagine being a helicopter pilot, flying over forests or waterfalls. What a breathtaking view it would be, soaring above the landscape. Helicopters come in all sizes, some tiny, perfect for personal transport, some huge for carrying lots of people or equipment, like military transport helicopters. Flying in a helicopter feels different. You can see the ground right below you. It's like having a bird's eye view of the world. They're the acrobats of the sky, able to go almost anywhere. Helicopters are so cool and helpful. Ready for our last most peaceful flying vehicle? Let's go! Look up! Way up high! What do you see dancing in the sky? That big colorful shape floating gently is a hot air balloon. Isn't it a magnificent sight? These gentle giants drift through the air, offering breathtaking views and a serene experience. Hot air balloons are giant balloons filled with hot air, making them float like bubbles in the sky. It's all about buoyancy. The hot air inside is lighter than the cooler air outside, causing the balloon to rise gracefully. The big fabric part is called the envelope. It's bright and rainbow colored. These envelopes are made from strong, lightweight material designed to hold a massive amount of hot air. The vibrant colors aren't just for show, they also help make the balloon visible from afar. Underneath is a basket where people stand, usually made of wicker. Wicker is a great choice because it's lightweight, flexible, and can withstand the heat from the burner above. Imagine standing in that basket, feeling the gentle breeze as you float among the clouds. The burner heats the air inside the envelope, Whoosh! And that hot air lifts the balloon up. The burner is a powerful source of heat and it roars like a dragon as it blasts hot air into the balloon. It's this burst of heat that defies gravity and allows the balloon to take flight. Hot air is lighter than cool air, so the balloon rises. To come down, the pilot lets the air cool or releases some. It's a delicate dance between temperature and altitude. Skilled pilots can control their ascent and descent with precision, making for a smooth and enjoyable ride. You can't really steer a hot air balloon. You go wherever the wind takes you. That's part of the adventure. Each flight is unique, guided by the currents of the atmosphere. It's like surrendering to the sky and letting the wind be your guide. Imagine floating quietly over fields and forests, waving to people below. The world looks so different from above, like a miniature landscape unfolding beneath you. It's a truly magical and unforgettable experience. Hot air balloon festivals fill the sky with dozens of colorful balloons. What a sight! It's a kaleidoscope of colors and shapes, a celebration of flight and adventure. These festivals bring together balloon enthusiasts from all over the world. Balloons can be all sorts of shapes, even castles or animals. The creativity knows no bounds. These novelty balloons add an extra touch of whimsy and fun to the already enchanting experience. The pilot controls the burner and watches the weather for a safe flight. Be 
Being a hot air balloon pilot requires skill, experience, and a deep understanding of meteorology. They are the captains of the sky, ensuring a safe and enjoyable journey for everyone on board. When it's time to land, the pilot finds a big open field and a chase crew helps pack up. The chase crew follows the balloon in a vehicle, ready to assist with the landing and ensure the safe retrieval of the equipment. It's a team effort from start to finish. Let's remember, envelope, the colorful fabric that holds the hot air. Basket, where the passengers stand and enjoy the ride. Burner, you're a hot air balloon expert. Now you know the key components that make these incredible flying machines soar. Hot air balloons are mostly for fun, giving people a peaceful adventure in the sky. It's a chance to escape the everyday and experience the world from a new perspective. Next time you see a colorful bubble in the sky, you'll know it's a hot air balloon. What a magical way to fly. It's a reminder that the sky is the limit and that adventure awaits around every corner. We've learned about airplanes, the workhorses of the sky, helicopters, the versatile machines that can hover and maneuver with ease, and hot air balloons, each one special in its own way. They all allow us to experience the wonder of flight. Exploring the sky is amazing. There's always something new to discover and learn about the world above us. What an amazing day. We learned about airplanes, helicopters, and hot air balloons. Each one is special, fast, helpful, or peaceful. I had so much fun exploring the sky with you. Stay curious and keep exploring the world around you. Which flying vehicle was your favorite? I can't wait for our next adventure. See you next time. Bye-bye, friends.